a make table query creates a new database table from the results of the query a make table query retrieves data from one or more tables based on a criteria and then inserts the results into a new table that new table can reside in the database that you have open or you can create it in another database make table queries use the select into new table statement a select into query creates a new table with the name specified in new table here is the generic syntax to create a new table based on existing data using select into select list columns to be created in new table new table the name of the new table to be created source table or multiple tables joined using joins external db if you need the new table to be created in a different database use the in clause to provide the database name the full path of the database in quotes should be provided select into supports the where group by having and order by clauses which you can use to limit and arrange the data in new table the columns in the new table inherit the data type of the columns produced by the select list so basically the results of any query can be used to make the new table first write a select query to return the column names and data you want to insert in the new table for example use this statement to return order id order date and order total from orders customers name and phone number from customers table and sales rep name from sales rep table run the query and verify the results make any changes required if needed add the into clause after the select field list and specify the name of the new table for example sales history when you run this query a new table sales history will be created the new table will be created with the column names and data types as defined in the old table if aliases are used in the query they are used as column names for example customer phone number etc primary key and indexes are not copied run the query a confirmation message is displayed showing how many rows will be pasted click on s new table sales history is created open the table in design view the data types are inherited from old table for example auto number for order id is inherited from orders table the fields names are either from the old table or the aliases used in the query for example customer sales rep etc are aliases and order id order date are from orders table to create the new table in another database use the in clause and specify the complete path of the database run the query click on s to confirm the new table is created in the database specified in the in clause open the other database new table sales history with the data returned from the query is created in the database be careful to check the existing tables before running the select into statement if there is an existing table with the same name as the new table that table will be deleted and the new table will be created for example use this statement to create a new table sales history to store order id order date and order total from orders run the query there is an existing table sales history which has different data access displays a dialog box that asks you to confirm the deletion of the existing table before it creates a new one in its place click on s to continue and access shows a confirmation message and warns that continuing will delete the table once you get to this step access deletes the existing table even if you cancel the action click on no the existing table sales history is deleted If you click on S the existing table will be deleted and the new table will be created with the same name and query results are inserted into new table This time click on S Old table is deleted and new table is created Open the table results from the query are inserted A summary query can also be used to create a new table 
For example, use this statement to create a new table which contains year, sales rep ID, first name, last name and total sales for each sales rep based on year. The aggregate function sum is used to calculate total sales. Year function is used to get year from order date. Orders are grouped by year, sales rep ID, first name and last name. Run the query. A new table's total sales is created. It has a column total sales which is the alias for the aggregate function and has values that are the result of the sum function. To download example access file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.